my name is Diane Hargrove. I'm uh, training to be a COL2 for the San Diego chapter of the Sierra Club. Today, I'll be uh, sharing my backpacking secrets with you uh, based on a, a real backpacking trip that we took recently um, to the San Jacinto Wilderness out of Idlewild. It was two days, one night. Uh, some important features that I had to consider for this trip was no water and very cold at night, almost freezing with uh, gusty winds. So you'll see uh, how that influenced my packing. Uh, let me just get to my pack for a moment. Uh, this is pretty old school, about 20 years old, but I, I love it so much. Although I could get a more modern, lightweight pack, I just like my old pack. And many of the features on an old pack are similar to what you see in new packs. Uh, I have a couple things on the outside of the pack that I'll mention. Is uh, I always carry a bandana right uh, at my shoulder to wipe my face or other important things. So for me, I almost consider my bandana a ten essential. Also, uh, a shade hat, uh, very, very important. It was going to be quite sunny, even though cool. And a couple important features for my shade hat. I know maybe it looks dorky, but it has a broad brim. And if it's very, very scenic, I can turn the brim up and look out like that. It also uh, covers my ears and neck. And importantly, it has a, a little drawstring in case it gets very windy. You can uh, cinch it and it won't blow, and it won't blow off your head. Um, let's see. I also carry a little pouch. This is a, a pouch of various assorted things that I want to have right at my fingertips and it includes uh, a glasses wipe, a little uh, Leatherman tool that's very very handy, has scissors, knife, and tweezers, a whistle, and also I have some band-aids and alcohol wipes and some latex gloves. So if someone needs a little first aid I have it handy right there on my strap. I found one time a person needed first aid, my first aid kit was buried very deep in my pack and it was not a good thing. So I'd like to have some first aid handy right there. The next thing is um, I carry a little fanny pack of some, I don't know if you can see this, a little fanny pack of some handy things. And let me just mention one thing that was very important for this trip, is we were in the designated wilderness and we had to get a wilderness permit. So I applied for this in advance, and indeed the ranger asked for it. So here's San Jacinto Wilderness, Wilderness Permit for 12 people to stay overnight. It was a must have. We also had to get a permit for our camp stove, so two permits. So if you're gonna go backpacking, you must uh, learn uh, what permit you'll need. Different areas are, um, are taken care of by different agencies and so you have to figure out what you need. Some places you don't need a permit at all, other places here we needed two permits and it was strictly enforced. I also, um, I like to carry a GPS, here's my GPS, it's pretty rugged. Um, sometimes we go off trail and it's very, very helpful to have a GPS. Um, also in my little, in my little fanny pouch I carry a map. Here's the San Jacinto uh, Trail Wilderness Map. This is one of the 10 essentials to have ability to navigate and map. Another thing I carry handy in my uh, waist pouch is um, sunscreen. I carry both uh, a cream sunscreen to put on my skin as well as uh, uh, for my lips, uh, a, um, a, what are these called? Anyway, a, a, a solid stick sunscreen. And I also carry a little sand, sand, hand sanitizer. Um, it's important to uh, keep your hands clean so that you uh, don't get sick. Is there anything else in my special pouch? And I, I also throw my cell phone in here. I now carry my cell phone. It serves as a camera and a possible, if you can get a signal, possible uh, way to contact emergency numbers. So that's my handy uh, uh, waste pack. So, um, as I mentioned on this trip, there was no water. So we had to carry all of our water. And uh, for this purpose, I carried um, 
these are one and a quarter liters. I carried five of these. So here's the water. Uh, another thing I like to, oh, there's more in there. I'll get to it. Another thing I like to carry is, a, I call this my sit upon. Uh, often it's just a trim foam pad. I found I didn't like it for sleeping, but I like it for sitting on. And also when I sleep, I use it for my pillow. So I kind of like this and it's lightweight. Uh, another thing in my pack, it, it, uh, it, on this trip, was um, we were uh, hiking a fairly short distance with our pack and setting up base camp and then going on day hikes. So for I did pack, um, this is an ultralight uh, day pack, so that when we switched to day hiking, I just left my big pack behind and put my 10 essentials, water, and some snacks in my day pack. So that's my pack. A couple of things I wanted to have handy that I had in this top container of my backpack was I did have my lunch in here as a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That was lunch the first day. Uh, this is a, a lightweight uh, down jacket that can keep you warm in cold weather. I carried that. Since it was going to be windy and cold, I also carried, um, this is a rain jacket, but it's also good um, at um, at blocking the wind. So I carried a, my rain jacket and for warmth and insulation, rain jacket and down sweater. So those were important, particularly at night when the temperatures were gonna drop, it was gonna get very windy. Then uh, I also have this, this I call my little uh, treasure chest. This is where I keep these items that, uh, I, this is a uh, stuff sack that's waterproof and this is where I keep the following treasures, and when I need them, I really need them. Uh, <clears throat> this is for keeping warm. Um, a very nice, a warm, warm pair of wool socks. Sometimes I sleep in these if it's cold. Uh, a pair of gloves. These are just a simple LL Bean gloves, but they're very warm and they have a lot of uh, dexterity that I like. And, and then also a little, um, a little hat. So these things I keep in this uh, waterproof uh, stuff sack, and when it's cold, I love to have them handy. <laughs> All right. So, uh, as I mentioned, no water on this trip. So, I carried uh, a, about a gallon and a half, uh, about a gallon and a half for two days using these, um, oh, these lightweight seltzer bottles. Uh, also, on this trip, I was not a uh, this trip we did not need a bear canister. There are no uh, bear threats, so I carried food in Tupperware. These were filled with food for the two days. On this particular trip, I chose not to cook, so I did not have a, a camp stove. For sleeping, I recently switched to this uh, inflatable pad. I really like, so I uh, blow that up, put it in my tent. Uh, it's lighter than my old pad, which was a Thermarest. Uh, <clears throat> then, I have some um, clothing in here, and my ultralight tent is in here, and uh, my tent poles are here, so this is my ultralight backpacking tent, tent poles, and then um, in the bottom, is a, well, I won't get it out, but I have a sleeping bag and a pillow, <clears throat> a very, very lightweight pillow, uh, a light book, some eye shades, and some earplugs. Uh, I forgot my outer pouch. I want to mention a couple of other things I bring that are 10 essentials. Is uh, I always bring a pair of uh, sunglasses that cover my prescription glasses uh, in a case so they don't get crushed. So those go here, one of the 10 essentials. And then uh, some uh, first aid, 
Very important to carry a little more first aid, some uh, pad and tape. Some other 10 essentials, including a compass. Here, uh, I just want to mention I carry the ability to start a fire if need be. In this canister are some cotton balls impregnated with Vaseline. I found uh, that they, if you light them on fire, they'll burn for about 20 minutes. And I also carry a lighter just in case I need to have emergency fire. Also, since I wear prescription glasses, I always carry a spare pair of glasses. These ones are actually reading glasses, very, very handy in case you ever lose your prescription glasses while on a hike. Um, and those are some of the things that I, or most everything I pack for the trip. Oh, here's a couple, the last couple things. I always carry a few feet of rope. It can be very, it can be very, very handy. Uh, toiletries, whew, I really went, really went with the highlights this time. Toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss, and a comb. That's it for uh, uh, toiletries, except, uh, let's see, toilet paper. So we are in the designated wilderness. The requirement is for solid waste, dig a six to eight inch hole. You'll learn all about this at the at one of the classes. Dig a six to eight inch hole, that's where you leave your solid waste. Toilet paper, you use it, carry it out. So I have um, I have my unused toilet paper, and today I'm not sharing the used toilet paper with you, but if there was used toilet paper, it goes in this bag. And when I get back to San Diego, it goes in the toilet or in the trash. I also, in my, um, toilet, in my toilet paper bag, carry a little more sand heads. <laughs> hand sanitizer. Um, I also sometimes carry some pre moistened towelettes that help keep me clean. One final 10 essentials for this trip was a headlamp. And I uh, have an ultralight uh, diamond, a black diamond headlamp and some extra batteries for the headlamp. So that is uh, the one night backpacking trip. It seems like a lot, but uh, covered all the 10 essentials. Now, if I was uh, going on a longer trip, the only additional thing I would pack um, would be uh, additional food. Oh, and so hope to see you on the trails and um, it's great to go out and enjoy the wilderness.